In this uh, tutorial, we will consider the uh, process of osmosis. However, before we uh, discuss osmosis, it will be uh, helpful if we briefly look at another related process called diffusion. Now you know that if in a room you have someone open a uh, bottle of acetone, by the way, acetone is the common nail polish remover, that a person sitting on the other side of the room will very quickly smell the acetone gas. Now, why does that happen? Well, first the concentration of acetone molecules as the liquid volatizes into vapors, that concentration is quite high next to this person who opened that bottle. And then those molecules will migrate by the process of diffusion to the person sitting in the other side of the room. So the diffusion process is taking place from the region where you have high concentration of acetone molecules to a region where there is low concentration of those molecules. And over a period of time, this uh, diffusion process will result in homogeneous concentration of acetone molecules throughout the room. So this is an example of the diffusion process. So let's uh, carry this a little further. Let's uh, consider this uh, U-shaped apparatus where we have two columns and the columns are separated by a permeable membrane at the bottom. And we fill water into both sides of this uh, apparatus. Now, after some time, if we add sugar into this right-hand column, so we have sugar dissolving in this water and we have the sugar molecules as shown here, because the membrane is permeable, the pore size or the openings in the membrane are such that both water molecules as well as the sugar molecules can easily transfer through this permeable membrane. So, as we see now in this animation, after some time period, these sugar molecules will migrate into the left-hand side and result in a homogeneous solution with the same concentration of sugar on both sides of this U-shaped apparatus. So that is a, a very simple example of the diffusion process. Of course, uh, some of the factors that influence diffusion are things like size of the particles, uh, the temperature, as well as, of course, as we have seen here, the concentration gradient. Now let's look at the process of osmosis. In case of osmosis, there is a flow of pure water into an aqueous solution. Now, of course, from aqueous solution, we mean solution that contains water. And this uh, flow of pure water into the aqueous solution occurs through a semi-permeable membrane. So let's look at, again, this uh, diagram, where again we have the same U-shaped uh, apparatus, except now the membrane that we are using is a semi-permeable membrane, and there is water on both sides of the column, and on the right-hand side, we have added sugar uh, into the water, of course, the sugar dissolves and the sugar molecules are then uh, present now on the right-hand side. Except now, the pore size or the openings in the membrane are smaller than the size of the sugar molecule. So the sugar molecules cannot, they cannot migrate from the right-hand column to the left-hand column. Uh, through this uh, semi-permeable membrane. However, water molecules, which are much smaller, can easily transfer from the left-hand column to the right-hand column. 
water molecules transfer from the left hand side to the right hand side because the concentration of water molecules on the left hand side is much higher than the concentration of water on the right hand side where there is sugar mixed in water. So the concentration gradient is driving the transfer of water through the semi-permeable membrane to the right hand side. So now we see in this animation water molecules easily moving into the right hand column whereas sugar molecules they cannot migrate through this semi-permeable membrane. So after some time, more water will transfer from left-hand side to the right-hand side, and the sugar concentration, of course, will decrease uh, because now you have more volume of water on the right-hand side. So as the level of sugar solution on the right-hand side increases, the hydrostatic pressure on the right-hand side will be higher than on the left-hand side. And at some point, equilibrium will be reached when due to the hydrostatic pressure on the right-hand side, the flow of water uh, through the semi-permeable membrane to the right-hand side will stop. And this uh, hydrostatic pressure is called the osmotic pressure of that solution. And we will discuss the osmotic pressure in a separate tutorial. So as we saw in the diffusion process, we had a permeable membrane where water and sugar molecules could easily migrate on either side of the U-shaped uh, apparatus. Whereas in case of osmosis, because of the semi-permeable membrane, we have the movement of only pure water uh, to the right-hand side, which results in the uh, hydrostatic pressure that is equivalent to the osmotic pressure.